Greetings! My name is Carl Cady. I'm going to show the final steps in rendering from a Windows video editor like Sony Vegas to ProRes 422. So we've already created a file called alonetogether.avs. If we look inside, we can see it's just a text file and uh, well, you can see the instructions for what it contains. Now we open the video editor. And we say uh, file render as. We set the type to save to as debug mode frame server AVI. The template should be project default. And we're going to save what's called the signpost file as alone together .temp .avi on my desktop. When we hit save, it'll bring up the debug mode frame server um, setup panel. We see we say yuy2 video output audio. It writes the little signpost avi file, and then when it's done, it'll pop up the panel again. And now we just leave the panel and Vegas as they are, um, just running. And we can see that they're working by double clicking the uh, the AVI file that we just created in Windows Media Player, for example. We can uh, see the beginning of the movie play. We can also now uh, open the AVS file that points to the uh, that AVI file. And if we open that file up in uh, Windows Media Player. AVS. It will play the movie also. So now uh, we go to the command line. We change our directory to the directory that these two files are in. In this case, my desktop uh, uh, directory or folder. We set the path to give it the path uh, of the FFmpeg program, and then we run the FFmpeg program. And it starts to do its work, taking frames from the Vegas video editor through the two frame servers and into ResPro 422. When it is done rendering, the command line program will stop. We can see the frame server. We can hit stop serving now if we want. Uh, we can also go over to the move file and double click it and we'll watch it play in quick time. It's playing fine. So stop the server, finish the rendering and close down Vegas and we are all finished.